Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. My name is Andri Zoherman and I'm one of the speakers in the ICOTEL. Please uh, correct me if I mispronounce. So ICOTEL, which is the International Conference on the English and Literature. Uh, the title of my paper in this conference uh, is called, wait a minute, uh, examining how Indonesian EFL teachers engage with online formative assessment during COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so uh, the research questions in this paper is, there are two research questions. The first one is, how do teachers engage with online formative assessment, FA hereafter? And the second one is, what factors have affected teachers' engagement with online formative assessment? Uh, the participants in the study is there are three EFL writing teachers called David, Julia, and Kevin. So the names are from three different universities. And based on the questionnaire given, these three teachers have uh, different levels of engagement with online formative assessment in EFL writing classrooms. To collect the data, I use three types of instruments. The first one is semi-structured interviews, uh, which is uh, 100 minutes uh, for each teacher. And the second one is teacher's instructional materials in the form of uh, PowerPoint uh, files. And the third one is teacher's recorded lessons. Uh, it is important to note that uh, this study employed a qualitative inductive approach to analyze the data. The data which is gained from interview transcripts, recorded lessons, and instructional lessons were first coded with two purposes. The first one is to identify the teacher's physical, cognitive, emotional, and social engagement. And the second purpose is to identify the individual, contextual, and technological factors in the teacher's socio-technical system. The data coding resulted uh, three key themes, namely online formative assessment and disturbance being auxiliary and integral. Research findings. To remind you, the first research question is, how do teachers engage with online formative assessment or if FA. The first one is online formative assessment as disturbing. The teacher reported that online classes disturb the implementation of FA during COVID-19 pandemic. For example, in the case of David, he has a very limited ICT skills in EFR writing assessment. And the second one is he has insufficient institutional support and he has also a student low participants in online learning. So overall, David was suspicious of and reluctant to embrace online formative assessment. So it could be assumed that uh, low, uh, I mean, David has a very low level of engagement with online formative assessment. And the second one is online formative assessment as auxiliary. The teacher perceived the auxiliary roles of ICT in writing assessment during COVID-19 pandemic. For example, in the case of Julia, although she valued the use of ICT in writing assessment, she felt challenged and frustrated. And despite her insecurity about the use of ICT in writing assessment, she was motivated to find appropriate ICT tools for writing assessment. And she also provided her low motivated students with encouraging feedback as much as she could. So overall, while Julia believed the auxiliary roles of ICT in writing assessment, her limited digital literacy prevented her from facilitating students' autonomous learning. So it can be assumed that uh, she has a medium level of engagement with online formative assessment. The third one is online formative assessment as integral. The teacher treated ICT as integral part of formative writing assessment and used ICT to help students achieve autonomous learning learning. For example, in the case of Kevin, uh, he has a very positive attitude towards ICT, and he also been actively used of ICT facilitated activity assessment, and he has a very extensive efforts to foster learner autonomy. So overall, recognizing the benefits of ICT for writing assessment, along with his institution supported workshop, Kevin actively explored ICT tools suitable for formative writing assessment. So it can be assumed that Kevin uh, has a high level of engagement with online formative assessment. For the second research questions, what factors have affected teachers' engagement with online formative assessment? There are three uh, factors found. The first one is called individual factor. The teacher has limited digital literacy and teaching experiences resulted in negative reaction toward the use of ICT or low engagement of, uh, with online formative assessment, for example, in the case of David. Uh, and the second one is recognize the roles of ICT in writing assessment resulted in the effort to include more ICT related assessment activities, despite her limited digital literacies, like in the case of Julia. 
And the third one is sufficient knowledge and teaching experiences resulted in the intensive use of ICT to foster learner autonomy, for example, in the case of Kevin. And the second fa factor is called contextual factor. The teacher has insufficient university supported teacher trainings on online format assessment, like in the case of David. And the second one is multiple opportunities were provided by the institution to equip teachers with ICT skills, for example, in the case of Julia and Kevin. And the third factors uh, found is called technological factor. All the teachers perceive that ICT could decrease student participation in writing due to the absence of face-to-face -face interactions, which further affected the teacher engagement with online formative assessment. So to sum up, this study examined the teacher's engagement with online formative assessment, and the results found that uh, the teachers uh, have a very different level of uh, engagement, which is low level engagement, medium and high level engagement. And there are three influential factors found. The first one is called individual, contextual, and technological factors. So this study is not without uh, limitation. Uh, and because this study has a very small sample of data and participant, but despite this, uh, this study uh, has uh, several pedag pedag pedagogical implication. Uh, the first one is the study appear to provide us with practical insight into how EFL teachers engage with online formative assessment during COVID-19 pandemic. And the second one is uh, this study suggests educational institution to provide EFL teachers with professional development courses with the purpose to help improve their digital literacy. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, uh, this is uh, all from me. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.